need to go first, so let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Guys, you can control the lights today, right? It's your presentation. If you want the lights off, turn them off. If you want them on, turn them on. Yeah, let them, let them Uh, most accessible one-day tour guide. 
Starting from the Junction Station, first place is to visit is Lotte World, which is the most famous amusement park in Seoul, and then the Lotte World Mall, which is the most the biggest shopping center in Seoul. Next, moving to Bangido, which we can try a lot of Korean foods, and we're gonna take Chime. And finally, we are heading to Sokcheon Lake at the last. Let's start it. Okay, this is the Lotte World. It is the most popular amusement park in Korea because it is in Seoul and it is close to subway station and it has a lot of life. Lastly, you can enjoy inside and outside of this park. So it doesn't matter the weather is good or bad. So let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ufek. Today I will tell you about uh, the biggest shopping mall which is in Seoul located in Jamsun Station. People come to, to see this place because it's a tourist destination place. You can see just a moment a lot of guys around there and get to the station, the atmosphere looks very electric. So uh, the right side of this building we can find uh, city cinema rooms which is so cool, cool like cinema, cool like films. Uh, I will invite them to come here and who cool, like shopping, who is holy and kind of fashion guys, I will advise to come here and uh, get relaxation from these pictures place. When you come to South Korea, force you to come to here because this is a tourist destination place. <laughs> 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 Bangidong next to Jamshir and in the Bangidong we have four streets you can choose the any Korean street in here enjoy eating here so let's eat Hi guys, we are here in Sokchong Lake it's a great place and beautiful place for uh, walking around after meal and a lot of couples comes to walk around in the evening and uh, if you want to come come before checking uh, even space. And 
Fourth is French Revolution. You can enjoy the non-stop excitement of your flesh with surrounding clothing, and you can wear VR. But somebody feel dizzy, so be careful. <laughs> Last is the conquistador. Uh, Korean people call it Viking. You can experience the people's thrill and suspense, and it looks like a Spanish style. Uh, it's a ticket price. If you are an um, adult, you have to pay 52,000 won. But Somebody think somebody think it's too expensive for them, but don't worry. I will uh, hear it the other way. Uh, first, uh, you can buy a ticket from social groups. As you can see, uh, you have to you can buy only thirty four thousand one, so you can save. 18,000 won. And second option is you can use a mobile company membership card, but it depends what your membership level is. So if you are VIP, uh, maybe about 50%, and you just uh, silver, uh, only 10%. And third is use a credit card. But I think first option is the best for foreigners because most of uh, because foreigners have to sign up mobile company and make a Korean credit card. So I think first option is the best for foreigners. And in conclusion, if you if you visit a hotel store and you want to go to um, a amusement park and movie theater and shopping I think the hotel is the best place for women. Thanks. Hi everyone, how are you? I know everyone is perfect, but it's a little bit nervous. So today I'm gonna talk about shopping mall, which is the biggest shopping mall in in South Korea. Um, the shopping world class Korea representative shopping mall. Lotte World Mall is more than the mere uh, shopping space. It's a fourth generation shopping mall shopping mall for smart and plain seeking plain, plain seeking shoppers who, who like excitement, relaxation and culture and to entertainment. And the last one. So and also experience too. Um, you know what? Uh, this building is one of the biggest in the first generation of the shopping mall. Everyone know about Lotte Tower, yeah, which is in Jamsun Station. It is located near them. Uh, the atmosphere of the shopping mall is very, ex very, very, um, very picturesque, and atmosphere was very electric, energetic. When you when you visit in this shopping mall, you can see that around around this shopping mall, the people and children like playing and playing, and there is monuments. Everyone knows what it is. There is located monuments. You don't know about it, but I would recommend you to visit this place because um, you know everyone knows it's the biggest shopping mall and the biggest place and beautiful place to walk with the. Uh, couples with your family, with your ch with your uh, boyfriend, and girlfriend, and with your friends, and with your team members. We also visited with our team members that place. Uh, you can you watch this before in your video. So um, and uh, please next one. I will talk you about this building and about what's the uh, located the first. Floor is B1 Young Fashion Food Court, and that's four. And the first floor is Global Fashion, Fashion Accessories, Cafe Suites connected to Toyota Motors Korea. The second floor is Global Fashion, Women's Wear, Fashion Accessories, and the third floor is Sport, Leisure, Men's Wear, Home, Home Ground Food Court, and that's 
Fourth floor is a kids' lifestyle bookstore, seafood, lobster, buffet. And the fifth floor is ten, ten restaurants, soul, 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 street cosmetic and fashion. There are in the last one is ten restaurants, uh, is aesthetic sphere in between. Uh, please next one, right? I know, I know there is two. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, sorry about this. I'm just doing. <laughs> tell about my tell my friends to next one <laughs> because there is no next one. I know it. Uh, so I will recommend to visit this place. And last after the finish your class, you should to visit with your team members and get relaxation from the atmosphere. Thank you for your relaxation. The uh, hard to find the restaurant from the junction station, so you can eat, you can have your meal from Lotte Lotte Mall, but I suggest you go to the Gwangidong food street, the Korean word Gokja Gomo. And there I have a uh, uh, like, lots of like. You can see the picture, you can see the lots of restaurants from there, so you can choose. Uh, you can you have many options from there. And I give you, uh, if you're hard to choose to where you like to go, I give you some options. So like first one is called Jeju Ogyeok Sai Wangulwi. Yes, they they sell Korean style pork barbecue mm -hmm. and and next one is you have one they they sell some craft beer and chickens and if you like to upload your Instagram you can take a picture from there so and the last one is Wutong Galbi there there is not the chicken it's different style with from chicken so if you like if you want to try some spicy can try there. And next one is suction away and curtain by Jack. Good morning guys, my name is Jack. Uh, I'm going to introduce uh, suction lake. Uh, suction lake uh, exactly was part of the Han River. I think everyone knows about Han River. Um, but the following event uh, reclamation project in 1971 year, uh, the flat from uh, river and um, uh, now, just right now, and such a lake has two parts: east part, uh, east part, and west part. Um, uh, exactly, in such a lake in west part. Uh, uh, so busy at night uh, because of after working hard, uh, off folks go uh, go to with their couples maybe and <coughs> walking around. It's good place and um, also uh, in this place um, in this place where it's cool uh, place uh, to walk around and. Uh, the left side area also has a number of uh, amenities, for example, including restaurants, bar, and some cafes. Uh, maybe you can drink coffee and also like this. 
And this is the Han River at night. Uh, at night, it's so beautiful. Uh, like it's in the morning. And uh, it's you can say so busy. Uh, it's in uh, look like in spring. So uh, beautiful. And oh, so uh, uh, at weekends we have uh, in South Lake Way uh, a lot of events in the, in the fair and. Um, if you want to come and to see events, you can come with, uh, but uh, before coming, you have to check the uh, days. Thanks for your attention. Okay, well, our team uh, introduced um, just a one-day course, which is just really very small, small part of Samjil or small part of Seoul. So if you like this place or you leave, if you guys want to know more about Jamshil, just let us know to recommend more places in Jamshil or in Seoul or all of them, uh, or in Korea. So thank you for listening to our presentation. Yeah, let's stop. Yeah. <laughs> Gmail to hack. <laughs> she connected the PayPal address to this Gmail, so you can hack them on.
we thought like uh, he was gonna he was gonna afraid he was gonna be afraid and uh, he was gonna cry but he didn't eventually and the third time for the midterm examination we went there and I got very funny face like this yeah you can see this on my Instagram too so that that's uh, uh, we are here with our team, Frank and Beck. We are going to introduce uh, Everland package one by one, step by step. We are going to introduce rides, zoos, and events, especially Hollywood event. You can see the picture here. I got paint, zombie paint, on my face, and it was very um, amazing. And you can do this. It's, it only costs 10,000 won, and you can afford. So, let um, Tommy, all right. Uh, Tommy, we have uh, one member, but he's not here because he got hired, and he got some piece of video about this topic. Let's play the video first. Your head like this. <laughs> no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Uh, Evelyn has over 40 rights. There's, there are some for kids, some for poor family, some for people who love extreme rights. This time, I tell some extreme rights in Evelyn. Did you see the map? You can see some big structures like this, and I will explain about it. This one is called K Express. It's, if you like the speed, you must go here first. Uh, you must go here first. T uh, Express is a type of roller coaster. It has 1.6 km long track, and it has maximum height of 56 meter and maximum speed of 104 km per hour. Running time of T Express is about 3 minutes. During the running time, you can feel 4.5 stronger gravity than normal. And this one is called Rolling X Train. Uh, this one not only really has high speed, it also has, has some spinning tracks. It has 360 degrees spinning tracks two times in a row and it also has a screw track. It is definitely screwed. And this one is called Thunderfall, known as Kurosan. Uh, you can enjoy a uh, rafting experience here and some big drop from the top. But be careful for getting wet here. And this one is a symbol of a beautiful park known as Viking, but in Everland they call Columbus Adventure. If you sit on the edge of this drive, you can go up to 33 meters from the bottom. Uh, this time I chose some fun rides in Everland. But Everland not only has some fun rides, there are more fun attractions in the Everland. Uh, so let's hear that from the next presenter. The next president, uh, the presentation will be led by Frank. Let let Frank talk. Uh, are you okay? In your neck because of the <laughs> uh, uh, before I start, I I I. Um, Sorry, because 
the, I want to uh, take a video and fit, you, can, you can see uh, I want to show you a video but uh, when we go there the weather is very not good so I, I just take a photo from the internet okay and uh, okay let's start <laughs> If you uh, don't like uh, extreme thing, like T-Express, and it, it makes you uh, scared, and if you don't like that, like me, I don't like T-Express, so that there is another option for your amusement. There is a Zootopia. It, it's a kind of zoo, and you can see the this panda world. Uh, panda world. You can see the panda. It, it's imported from Sichuan in China. That that's very uh, rare to see because it's very small. Small. Uh, uh, it's very uh, small. It's very <laughs> remains small, uh, and there is a safari. Uh, you can see uh, uh, rock Kenya. You can see this animal. This is a barbarish barbarish camel and. Inter owned onyx, onyx, and next, and with a uh, uh, angel temple, you can see Asian elephant and white lion. This is not just what lion; it's a uh, uh, only remain only 50? 50, 50, 50, only left 50. This is white. You can see. Next, uh, and this is a uh, uh, great savanna. They uh, they like like the name. They live in savanna and giraffe, zebra, and iran. And this is orchid, ostrich, and zebra and antelope. And there is a, a great waterfall. Waterfall is contained a uh, what what near what uh, identification waterfall, and they live they are living Ryan. Um, and the red swamp, they they are living flamingo. You can see flamingo very. Many flamingo in here. Um, last, the there the hero piece, the white rhinoceros and chira is. Uh, you can see all you can see all this with a uh, take a bus with a guide guide very kind kind and they exp they explain about. That animal very well, so you can enjoy uh, your safari. And there is another one. Uh, you can also see uh, mon monkey belly. This is orangutan. Uh, and next, uh, this is a golden monkey. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, uh, this is the uh, origin from Solomon. Oh. Yeah. And uh, there is a Japan monkey who enjoy paspa. <laughs> and there is another amusement. There is also bird paradise. It's 
they, you can see that very diverse world in there with a, with a low, low boundary. You can see very closely. Uh, and um, you can, uh, they have a specific type for uh, code animal talk. It can uh, time with animal more communicate, like uh, touching or look very close. So you, if you want to more, to, if you want more to see, uh, just check a schedule schedule table. Uh, uh, th this is all of the Zootopia. Uh, I want to say, lastly, uh, uh, be careful your your weather condition because. I don't see anything of this in that day. We didn't see. Mm. Because of the rain. rain. The animal is in at outside, so it it depends on weather conditions. So may, you can be careful about snowfall, subject temperature, and strong wind. And in that condition, you can see all this. So please check your uh, weather what you are going to do. Uh, the next, uh, next is uh, about performance. Yeah. And let's take the next presentation. Uh, show some short video but it didn't work and I, I apologize that I spent some time, uh, many time, uh, time. so let's start. Uh, I'm going to talk about why you should visit to everyone. Uh, my part is about festival. Uh, so have you heard that uh, Halloween festival is held in, is being held in everyone before? Uh, this is Halloween season, and so I was in there with these guys. So uh, I I got many funny moments with these guys. So I want to recommend this. So let's check it out. And first, uh, it is annual festival, and uh, you can enjoy this festival in September to November, uh, and it is a horror festival. Uh, after after 7 p.m., uh, you can see some zombies and some ghosts when you ride roller coaster. So it, it means uh, when you ride roller coaster, some zombies and ghosts. <laughs> and so if you if you are interested in some horror things, so you can do this. And second. Also, you can see performance in there. Uh, there are many, there are many dancers who were who wear who are wearing zombie costumes. Uh, it was the best best memorable uh, in my in my part because they were so they, their movement was so energetic and vivid. So. I led to this. I I want to show some video, but it didn't work. I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to enjoy more, uh, you can take um, zombie makeup, such as. Can I, can I show? Yeah. This. Like this. Uh, you can take zombie makeup, and prices are uh, ten thousand won and. 20,000 won and 30,000 won, but it is uh, 10,000 won. It can be a little expensive, but I could enjoy more uh, because of this painting. So I recommend it if you if are there. Um, so my conclusion is uh, as you know, Halloween is coming. Uh, 
maybe October 31. So, mm -hmm. so I, I highly recommend this. Uh, about the, if you have a good time with your friends or your lovers in Everland. So, thanks for your attention. And my presentation is end. And for any uh, can be very nice. Thank you. Now we are going to uh, present you our video, promotion, promotional video, but there are so many channels on YouTube. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Hold on. Hold on. Be prepared for the scary thing. Come on. One, two, three. As you can see, the hind major is still stressed very extremely wide. Uh, now we are uh, with my friend. We are going to experience this deep press line, and it's going to be more amazing and scary. Oh, I don't know. But, uh, you can watch us after we experience this. Yeah. Is it scary? I guess.
uh, I would like to show you a video about a one day trip in Gokuk University. So, give me a moment. <laughs> We are in Manjus and we introduced one of the best hot places in Korea. And today's our pick is Gongbuk University. Gongbuk University is best places for enjoying food and enjoying everything. Uh, we're gonna show you how to uh, hang out like Korean university students. So let's go. Jun gonna tell you about Korean BBQ 
and next speaker is me. Uh, I just explain about how to make Korean cocktails and a drink culture. And our third speaker is Peter. Peter is going to tell you about how to rent a bicycle in Palm River with some great tips. And our final speaker is Sarah. Sarah is going to introduce about a convenience store in Palm River and how to cook ramen. So let's get started. Hi guys, I'm Jung from Juventus. Uh, do you like uh, Korean barbecue? Uh, yes. Yes, I do, me too. Uh, according to some researches, uh, Koreans eat uh, 21 kilograms barbecue every year and eat uh, every four years. Uh, so if you're interested in Korean barbecue, I recommend one place. Sollei <laughs> Sangyeopsal. Uh, the address on the screen, but uh, I recommend you search on the, uh, this place by using neighbor map or Kakao map. Okay, uh, I recommend this no, no, before okay, okay. Uh, I recommend this place because the menu is various and the price is so reasonable. Every menus are under uh, 8,000 won, except Bosunda True. And, uh, and I, among the menus, I recommend Wasu uh, Sangyeopsal because it is only uh, 6,500 won and it is basic and very delicious. And please, next slide. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, how to cook delicious Korean barbecue. Uh, first, the temperature is so important. To check the temperature, you just uh, you just pour the water on the grill. Uh, if the water is vaporized instantly, uh, you're ready to cook. And second, uh, don't uh, flip the barbecue several times because you if you Flip uh, several, several times, uh, the juicy gets out of the meat, so that isn't delicious. And finally, uh, just slice it into pieces uh, before eating. Uh, okay. Uh, if you, now you are you made a delicious Korean barbecue. Please next slide. And I'm going to tell you how to eat delicious uh, Korean barbecue. <laughs> Uh, there are two ways, uh, one with sanjang and the other way is uh, sam. Uh, sanjang is made of uh, soy and chili. Uh, it is a uh, little salty and little spicy. Uh, you just uh, put the sangyeopsal into sanjang and just eat. That will be very delicious. The other way is uh, sam. Sam means uh, kind of uh, leaves of vegetable. You just let the Korean barbecue with some and add some uh, fried garlic or kimchi. Uh, that will be very delicious and also healthy. Uh, and uh, please next slide. Okay. Uh, we we just here uh, spend uh, twenty two thousand won. One. One for four people. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, we are missing something. Uh, the, the old friend of the Korean barbecue, soju and beer. Uh, Roy will introduce about that. Thank you. Uh, Korean drink culture, my part, and uh, soju. As you guys know, uh, soju is at most basic and clear, and twenty and twenty four. Uh, percent alcohol and soju is one of the most alcoholic drink in Korea. Uh, well, there are a total of seven soju brands in total, and personally, uh, my best soju brand is Chamisu. And anyway, and soju and Samgyeopsal is the best partner, and there's nothing better than soju and Samgyeopsal. And in Korean culture, there is a drink etiquette and that's very easy. 
when you pour uh, suju in front of like um, all the people, you should use your both hands and pour suju. And likewise, when you drink it, uh, you should turn your face to the side and drink it. And that's the drink etiquette in Korea. And and somek uh, is the uh, representative and is the best simple and easy uh, cocktail of Korea and very easy to make. Uh, first of all, uh, stack up two soju glasses and you can see the line, I mean stack the line and this stack line is the best uh, soju amount for somek and so pour this soju up to this line and pour into beer glass and add beer up to the logo onto backju glass and that's all and that's very easy and drink it so uh, my explanation and tips about uh, Korean drink etiquette and how to make uh, somek gonna be very useful and helpful during your travel in Korea. Thank you. Now next, I will introduce Dabini, the representative bike rental system of the Han River. Uh, Chimek is the most famous thing in the Han River, but the next famous thing in the Han River is bicycle. And if you don't have a bike, you can, rent, you can rent one easily with the Dabin rental system. Uh, it's an amended rental system when you can borrow when you can borrow a bicycle with only one application. Uh, for foreigners, this next. For foreigners, you can view detailed information in English, such as uh, renting a bike and returning in by uh, rental system like this website, and you can view detailed information in English. Uh, the, fare, the fare is also very cheap, only 10,000 won to ride all day. And I, I will tell you a purchasing way. Uh, there is two percent purchasing way, one is credit card, and the other is mobile purchasing. And I recommend mobile purchasing because very easy. Uh, for example, for you people, I I know there's there's no credit card. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very very hard to purchasing credit card, and I recommend purchasing or uh, use the mobile. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, if you have a store bike application, you can find a dollar in rental shop around you. And this is all about the application. When you when you turn on this application, you find uh, this map, and you find uh, your location, and you find the uh, the bicycle you around you. And you can also the application to find out the number of bicycle, and you can rent and re uh, return them easily. Uh, with bicycle and night view of Hanga, you can feel the best ever, the best romance you have ever felt. Uh, try borrow your bike easily with the Bali rental system, and please just go Han River with your friends. And now season uh, night night time is very cold, and you have to wear your jacket, and your jacket. And uh, if you go with your girlfriend, you have to off your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there, is very, there is very essential point in this password. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, next, next uh, queen of my team and black widow my team, uh, Toya, Sarah. <laughs> Places to sit, but there are not many chairs, so you can 
by a mat and put it on the grass. And you can lie down there and take a rest. We're sitting there and eat something with your family or friends. And you can see the beautiful sights on the mat at night. And what kinds of foods are there? There are many kinds of snacks and beverages like beer, soju, and uh, coke, and so on. And there are fried chicken and sausage like that. And, and instant food. I highly recommend you to try instant ramen there. It, uh, it is really popular in Han River because there is a special must machine that can make ramen most deliciously. Um, well, it is different with cup ramen because it takes like cooking at home. So I'm gonna explain how to use ramen machine in Han River. Um, first you can put ramen and ramen soup on the plate and as you can see you can put it on the machine after putting it on the machine, you can press the button and water comes out automatically and it starts to bo boiling. Um, maybe it takes three or four minutes, but it depends on what kinds of ramen you bought. Um, you can stir with chopsticks while it is boiling. Um, and after light goes out and with some sounds like beep, and <laughs> you should take it out carefully and enjoy the meal. Uh, as, I, as I told you, you can shop anything in convenience store. So I hope you to visit convenience store in Han River. Uh, lastly, June will tell you about our conclusion. Thank you. Hi, here again. <laughs> I'm interested in Korean barbecue and Roy Korean drinking culture and winner of riding on riding bike on Han River and Sa uh, convenience store near the Han River. Uh, we total spent uh, about uh, 48,000 won, uh, so uh, 12,000 won per person, also uh, 12 dollars, uh, about 12 dollars. Maybe. Uh, uh, do you want to experience the life of Korean university students? Uh, if so, uh, choose our plan with reasonable and uh, affordable price. Uh, you can uh, you can enjoy your day. Uh, is there any questions? No. Okay. Thank you. University for almost six years and I lived there for almost 11 and I think it's a really underrated area of the city if you have a chance to go visit around there it's not as busy as like the home bay or hometown areas but the prices are really cheap for the food it's one of the things I miss about living around there because you not only have Kongsuk University you have Seijuk University right there behind it and if you're living at Gachan it's super easy to get to you hop on the 119 or the 302 bus and it takes you right to the back gate and that's where I used to live. So fun, fun for me to kind of re revisit my old stomping grounds. Um, guys, that first half of class took a little bit longer than I expected. In fact, I thought class would be finishing about this time. Uh, that was my estimation. Uh, I'm not upset about that. That's fine. We have three hours of class. But um, I don't want to take the full break today because I'm, I'm worried that if we go too long on these last two presentations, there won't be enough time. I don't want to keep you late today either. So. Uh, it's 12.35, we're going to take a break until 12.40. Last time when we took a five minute break, some of you came back much later interrupting someone else's presentation. If you're late from the break, I'm going to take points off of your presentation score, not their presentation score. So please make sure that we're back on time. So go to the restroom, get some water, come back in five minutes at 12.40, and then we're going to begin with...
Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Maksu. I'm a member of Fondly uh, <coughs> Travel Agency in South Korea. Today I'm going to talk about famous uh, Korean streets. There are some uh, awesome pictures of that street that we are going to talk about. Next, next page, please. Uh, our presentation is going to stop five parts. Introduction, I'm going to talk about and give some the information about our agency and uh, there are uh, three names of streets in Bali and conclusion uh, our, uh, in our next tour we are going to travel these streets next speak. Uh, is there anyone who are interested in the statistics of tourists uh, visiting to South Korea in 2018 I think don't have any ideas about it. I have so. Okay, can you tell me? Uh, there, there's. Uh, yeah. If you yeah, mention the graph, you uh, If you pay attention to the graph, uh, in 2017 October, the number of tourists came to Korea were so uh, low. But uh, you can see, as you can see that uh, in 2018 July, in summer months. Uh, the number of tourists that came to Korea reached its peak and showed the uh, shocking statistics. Uh, about 1.4 million tourists came to Korea to, uh, to have a way of song and uh, travel the cities and uh, enjoy the South Korea, view of South Korea. And uh, next page, please. There is some uh, general information about uh, our agency. I'm the manager of this agency and there are some uh, git ladies, uh, staff members, there are my staff members. Uh, our agency is a private, private agency and we have five years experience uh, and uh, we can also have online online service. There are some examples of accounts and online uh, channels. You can find our agency with this name. And uh, this is the statistics of our agency, the number of customers of the agency. Uh, I have to say that we don't only uh, give service to only foreign people, we have also, uh, this is the, the uh, numbers of local people who are came to us, apply our agency to travel with us and follow our agency. This is the this number uh, shows the thousands, 2000, 4000, and 6000. The numbers uh, in 2015 it was so low, and you can see the dramatic increase all over the years. Now, this is to, uh, 2018, it's reached to about 8000. 8, and this is the uh, numbers of foreign tourists applied for, uh, applied for agency and followed us. It's reached to the around 12,000. So this is the general information about our uh, agency. So now, uh, next page. Our next tour, we are going. We are. This, uh, we have planned to go these three streets uh, called Garasugil, Wangyudangil, and Sungyudangil. This is the date of our tour. First street we are going to on 25th of October and 26th of 27th of October to other locations. So it's travel time, uh, better with perfect and follow us. Uh, our team members going to introduce about the streets and locations and show some uh, pictures and videos. Thank you even sir. Enjoy it, 27. 
just get and bring tea and coffee. It's a unique interior and different from a jeans store, so you can enjoy it.
there be pleasure friends just by the name of pleasure friend? Yes, there are so many friends in here, uh, but this is not her. Uh, the, the reason why this cafe is famous is uh, not, not only bread, but there are many, uh, there are eight dishes and five desserts, five desserts in here. Uh, all of them are so delicious. Uh, all of them are so delicious, and uh, here you can get uh, some kind of gems, in, uh, some kind of water bread gems. And uh, after your hard work, you sh we should have a beer in the evening, right? Uh, so third, the pub I will introduce is Cake by Cake. This is not a normal pub. Uh, there are six pack beer, and three special beer, and four uh, practice, which is Gradient Monastery beer. Uh, so you can enjoy craft beer you want. Uh, last. Uh, you can also enjoy many other things. Our landmark. Our landmark Lotte Tower is located in Changi Station. Uh, there is an observatory, so you can see beautiful, uh, you can see beautiful, a uh, beautiful, nice view of Seoul. Uh, and there is a uh, Sokchang Lake and Lotte World. So I hope you have fun in Songnyeokgi with your family and friends. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, last presentation will. So today is our product's introduction is how was it? Great. Great. And in last year there are 40 million foreign tourists in Korea. They usually go to Pyongyang or Seoul Tower. If I were a foreign tourist, I will maybe go to Pyongyang or Seoul Tower like but I think they, oh, because they are simply and meaningful places <coughs> in Seoul, but I think they are two typical places for Koreans or foreigners living in Seoul. So, Koreans 20, 20s tend to go Korean streets. If when I went to Korean street for the first time, it was really impressed and very shocked for me because there are, are so many stores or delicious restaurants or beautiful cafes having awesome interior. So if you use Instagram, you have to go there to scoop beautiful pictures and so if you are interested in our products, call this number 101 is my real number. <laughs> and, and absolutely, you have great time in Carl Skill, introduced by Ruby, Mangidan Street, introduced by Bella, and Sungidan Street, introduced by Zaya. So, if you want to have more information about our products, visit our website www.followmetravel.com. Thank you for listening. What about ladies phone number? No, once you are, ask them later. <laughs>
name is Chadir. Uh, we are, uh, I am from Jumo Tower Agency. And today we're going to talk about one of the good places uh, in Korea, in Seoul, uh, Polk Village. Uh, if I want to know about a person's character or something else about uh, him or her, I want to look at uh, his or her history. So, uh, we, uh, I and uh, Mansur, uh, last week, uh, visited to one of the great places, uh, which is called Folk Village in Seoul. And uh, now, uh, we're going to show and we're going to tell you some experience that we have learned uh, from this uh, uh, Folk Village. Uh, let me tell Show you pictures that we took in there. Uh, I'm gonna show you some pictures uh, how to get there. Uh, so uh, uh, this is Sangal Station. This is our last destination to get to the Folk Village. Uh, if you want to go uh, to there. Uh, you, you you have to take a uh, bus, uh, no, no, uh, t t subway, uh, you're going to take, uh, you're going to get, uh, you're going to take uh, from here, Gacho Station, uh, and get off Sangal Station. Uh, I forgot to take a picture, uh, the bus number, after, get off, after getting off the Sangal Station, uh, you have to take, uh, uh, a bus which is number thirty seven and the the goes the bus goes to the straight directly to the uh, folk village and this is a uh, remember this one the cycle station the, our last destination and <laughs> this is a gate of folk village. Uh, you can see uh, people uh, around here, and uh, it's the opening time of the folk village. As you can see here, the ticket place you can buy ticket here. Can you see, guys? Mm -hmm. And you can see here uh, the ticket price uh, here for adults. Uh, 18,000 18, won for adults and 15,000 for children. And so opening times and events time here, as you can see. Here, you can see the traditional uh, custom here, traditional uh, clothes here, as you can see here. We took a lot of pictures and it was really amazing, really interesting. If you want to be refreshed, uh, my suggestion is go to there. It's a good place. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of tourists here is here. Uh, 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 she's she's uh, really cute. Uh, from America, uh, I, took, I asked uh, her father to take a picture with her. So it, she was really cute. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it's nice too. Yeah. yeah, you can see the spoon here uh, from uh, the, this folk village. Uh, step by step, it's, it is uh, it's getting better and better. This here, as you can see. Oh, uh, you can see the, a lot of pictures here. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, it's actually wrong. I'm going to show you a video here. Oh, sorry, I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs>
Keep your eyes closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just go, go one side until he opens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Stop! Yeah. You can see a lot of fish there. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Shodio. Today I'm with Mansur. Today we visit uh, one of the great places called Village. <coughs> Thank you. 
in Italian lit these tiles called Giwa. by reason and climate of there. Thank you for listening. Hello guys, I'm Lee. Uh, I want to introduce the performances that I can enjoy in Korean for Polish. In Korean for Polish, you can enjoy four regular performances. They are performers, music and dance, and providing on tiger walking, equestrian fits, and traditional wedding ceremony. Let's take a look at it one by one. Okay, let's take a look at it one by one. The first is farmers music and dance. They play traditional musical instruments like Janggu and Gengari, Buksogo, and they dance at the same time. It's the most intimate folk play that still prevails throughout the country. The performance time is 10.30 and 2 p.m. The second one is acrobatics on a time of walking. An acrobat performs on the one roll to the accompaniment of the music. Uh, he also shows off his really with his remarks during the performance. The performance time is 11 and 2.30. The third one is a question face. It is some military training while riding on horse. They throw a spear and shoot arrows and show several evasion actions on the horse. The performance time is 11.30 and 3 p.m. Okay, the last one is traditional wedding ceremony. They reenact the Korean traditional wedding ceremony. It's not a spectacular performance, but you can see the Korean traditional wedding culture. The performance time is 12 and 4 p.m. We saw the four performances, and those performances, uh, uh, they are performances that brought back the joys and pleasures inhabitants in Korea. They perform every day, unless something special happens. In addition, in addition you don't have to pay additional cost to watch the show, so it's, I think it's worth it. Uh, so far, I introduced the performances, and next, the master will continue the uh, presentation with the activities they can do in the Korean for Korea. My name is Lazo. Let's see the video. Hi guys. My name is Lazo. Hello. Hi guys. My name is Lazo. I work in the Jumanjo agency. Now, our agency aim to show new guests that Activities you can actually do there 
and participate, and you can be a part of that activity. Uh, one of them is horse riding. Uh, it has additional cost. Uh, you should pay 5,000 more if you want to ride horse. And after that show, and uh, actually, if you want to ride a horse, uh, you should ride the horse with uh, a master. Uh, you should ride one horse, two people. And but I asked them to ride a horse. I know how to ride, and I have some experience. And they believed me and gave me the horse. I walk around some place with horse, and lots of Korean children and girls uh, looked at me and oh, like like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I felt myself as a hero. Uh, second one is <coughs> walking around the, uh, walking around the folk village, uh, down the river. Uh, it's a good activity you can do there. And I, I took these pictures, but they have no quality because of my phone. Sorry. Uh, there are a lot of fish and good view of the trees uh, along the river. Uh, I recommend you to go there to see this view in the morning or in the evening when the sun rises or sunset. Uh, the light of the sun becomes red and this color mix and the color of trees three leaves uh, becomes kind of an art. Uh, you can enjoy the view. I highly recommend this place. Thank you very much. And uh, next uh, speaker is Jeff. Jeff will talk about us. So, hello guys, my name is Jeff. <coughs> and uh, just now I'm going to talk about the conclusion. So, but uh, one thing I need to uh, mention about this, uh, I, I went to Folk Village uh, and it was very crowded and also even I couldn't find any seats uh, in the subway, so uh, I was a bit nervous and I feel myself not so well and I couldn't uh, decide to uh, take a video in this area, I mean uh, folk village. So I just uh, took some video in our Gatchon University subway station, but uh, as it's not so interesting uh, as much. But uh, if it, if is it uh, so important, I can show you uh, this video or something like this. Hello guys, my name is Jeff and I'm right now in the city subway station in this uh, Chusoku village and that was a very wonderful uh, place, wonderful trip also and also it takes 5 hours, I lost 5 hours really but anyway it really deserves and I just um, gonna to give some information about this village there is a, some when I go, when I go went there, uh, there was a, what happened at this, some kind of event, some kind of uh, very old, uh, old science fiction or something like this, but it, it was very, really was wonderful, and also so cool places. Uh, and um, I think it deserves to come here and just visit this Chusok village, I think. And that's all guys, thank you for listening. That is a great uh, little trip, but <coughs> it really, as I said, it really deserves to. But I lost uh, five hours, uh, but <laughs> never mind. So, uh, if you are in history or something kind of uh, fan of history or like this, you need to just visit uh, over there because of. Uh, I, I, we are here for one thing, uh, one idiom, uh, fashion, 
uh, old fashionable. So that's a uh, everything, especially the future begins from past or everything related to history. So uh, I mean, uh, if you are gonna be a great person or something like this, you need a great history or a kind of. And also, why we ch you can ask from us uh, why we choose this uh, kind of topic or this kind of uh, old science fiction? Um, because of you can you can find anywhere kind of shopping mall or specific or modern or something uh, urban uh, places. But uh, if you are really a fan of uh, history, especially history of South Korea, you not you just let me ask and. Uh, we together visit this uh, folk village and do some activities, uh, something kind of ma martial art, old fashion. Uh, so I like this. So thank you for paying attention, and, and that's all. All right. We, we took only two uh, list of maps and performance time. Only two. If you do, do mind if I share with the professor, only two, we have two. Um, what, what I recommend is seeing if, especially like yeah. the Uzbek students in here, if anybody wants to take yeah. one to kind of have a, a look at it, you might be interested yeah. in it. I think it's a kind of fun place uh, to go, especially if you're into history. Yeah, and in my hometown, we have a historical society, which is Thank you guys.